There are a ton of Linux applications out there and a good number of them are absolute gems. Then there are some that you unquestionably need to have installed on your system. What's get up this is Linux Dex and today I bring to you 15 Linux applications that you'll absolutely love. Starting off we have Rambox on number 15. Rambox is an open source multi-platform messaging and email application. What makes Rambox unique is it supports more than 100 messaging and email services in the free edition. You can use WhatsApp, Telegram, Gmail, Facebook Messenger, Slack and many more services all from within one application. The app is built with professional standards and is no less than official apps in terms of quality and functionality. I can even say it's better than the official apps of some services. It is one of those apps that you should just have on your system. Personally, I use Rambox and I love it. It is so organized and easy to use. The tab layout makes using it a pleasure. It is highly secure and is used by more than 50,000 users. It is a multi-platform app available on Linux, Windows and Mac. The download link for Rambox is given in the description of this video. Next on the list is Kodi. Kodi is the ultimate entertainment powerhouse. Take your smart TV and multiply its awesomeness by 100 and you get Kodi. Plus, it's free. Kodi can turn pretty much any screen running any OS into a media center. To be clear, Kodi is not a media provider like Netflix. Rather, it's a tool that organizes and allows you to play your own media or media from supported third-party services. You can store your media like music, movies and TV series on a computer and stream that on all your other devices like your mobile phones and tablets. The real power of Kodi is in its huge library of add-ons. These add-ons are the biggest reason Kodi got so famous. There are hundreds of them and the major ones include YouTube and SoundCloud. These add-ons greatly enhance what Kodi can do by allowing access to vast libraries of media like TV shows and radio. Kodi add-ons have great content with many add-ons offering TV services, movies and music. Installing these add-ons is really easy. The possibilities with Kodi are just limitless. You can download and install Kodi from the default software store on your Linux distro. I personally recommend that you check out Kodi. Number 13 on the list is Stacer. Stacer is a system cleaner and optimizer built for Linux. Stacer has a straightforward interface. It has a clean dashboard which shows the system status in terms of resource usage. Stacer allows you to scan your computer for different kinds of junk files and clean them. You can manage the applications that automatically start at boot up from Stacer, which I think is a great feature if you have a lot of applications running. You can also manage the system services from Stacer. It also provides you with a minimal yet informative monitor for CPU and memory usage. In my opinion, Stacer is not something that you need every day, but running it to monitor the health of your system and to optimize it once a month is a really good practice. You can download and install Stacer using the link given in the description of this video. As a long time bookworm, I have experimented with a number of software to read books on my PC, including some Windows software. And I must say, Calibur is just a perfect match for me. Calibur is not just an ebook reader but also a great tool to manage ebooks on PC. It supports pretty much any ebook format there is. Calibur has a simple interface, a great font rendering and highly flexible options to customize your reading experience. I read a lot of my ebooks using Calibur and I'm really satisfied with it. When you compare paid ebook managers, you'll see that Calibur is on the same level with no price tag though. Calibur also allows you to design and create ebooks. In fact, Calibur is the most powerful tool for ebook creation on Linux. And if you need to convert an ebook from one format to another, yep, Calibur can do that too. Calibur can be installed from your software store. On number 11, we have Timeshift. Timeshift is one of those apps that should come pre installed on all the Linux distros. Timeshift is the ultimate backup and recovery tool for Linux. Timeshift is so powerful that even if you delete the entire operating system away, you can still restore the whole thing and it'll work flawlessly. For someone like me who messes around with the system a lot, Timeshift is a must-have. Timeshift is very easy to use. Using it, you can take full snapshots of your system and then you can restore that snapshot in case something goes wrong with your system. Usually, once I install an OS, I install all the drivers, all my day-to-day -day apps and then configure it according to my needs, after which I make a backup with Timeshift. Now let whatever happen to my OS, I can always roll back to a completely working state. It also allows me to explore and experiment with Linux without fear. 
TimeShift can also automatically make daily and weekly backups of your system so that's an added bonus. There is no excuse for not having a backup. The link to the guide video that explains the installation and usage of TimeShift is given in the description of this video. Do check it out. If you are running the GNOME desktop environment, then GNOME Tweak Tool is an absolute must-have. GNOME is a great desktop environment which can be customized to a high degree, and GNOME Tweak Tool makes this customization work really easy. The Tweak Tool is extremely powerful and has a wide variety of options that can change the basic working of your desktop. You can modify even the smallest detail of GNOME desktop here. All the options are laid out in an organized manner and even the complexities are represented in an easy to understand manner. You can change the themes, icons, cursors, modify the fonts to your liking, change the keyboard and mouse behavior. The top bar can be reworked from here. The windows appearance and behaviors can be changed extensively from here. To top it all off, the tweak tool also acts as the extension manager. From here, you can manage and adjust all the extensions installed. If you like my desktop, I should let you know that I've customized that using this tweak tool. There are a number of really powerful audio video editors available for Linux, and Kanan Live is number 9 on this list because of its simplicity while also being power packed. If you need something simple, something that doesn't need you to watch tons of tutorials on YouTube to edit a simple birthday video, then Kanan Live is for you. Now don't get me wrong, Kanan Live is not something that just cuts and pastes videos together. It is a full fledged video editor with support for a wide range of video and audio formats. It has a simple multi track editing setup. Kaden Live has a pre-built library of many animations, effects and transitions that are up-to-date and can be used in professional-grade videos. Kaden Live uses proxy editing, so you can use it on even slightly lower-end computers on which generally other editors crash. If you are going to spend a lot of time editing, then Kaden Live has a very customizable and themable interface, allowing you to make Kaden look the way you like. Personally, I use Kaden Live to make all these YouTube videos. I've tried many editors, but I always come back to Kaden Live. On number 8, we have Synaptic. Synaptic is a software manager that you can install and use on Ubuntu and Debian and the derivatives. If you don't like the way the software store on Ubuntu looks, and if you're not really into all the snap apps that the store has, Synaptic offers you higher control over package management and no snap apps. To begin with, Synaptic is a power tool. It has no glitter. It has an old-fashioned find packages and install packages workflow. What more does Synaptic offer other than what is available in the software store? You can find and fix broken packages with a single click. Same with the missing recommends. Using it, you can clean out often packages. You can browse software using variety of filters such as category of apps, package status, origin and a lot more. All these give you a fine control over packages and help you solve package related issues very easily. And snap apps are completely absent from Synaptic and that itself is a reason good enough for me to use Synaptic. You can install Synaptic by opening a terminal and running sudo apt install Synaptic. VLC is a video player that needs no introduction. VLC is probably the best video player out there. VLC has been around for a long time. Many competitors have come and gone, but no one has been able to challenge the throne of VLC. VLC is just that good. Firstly, VLC is a very old software with valuable experience. Now to talk about the features of VLC, if a media format exists, then VLC can play that. Not many media players can claim to have this capability. VLC is a free and open source project with no spyware, no ads and no user tracking. It is a multi-platform tool available on all major operating systems with hardware acceleration enabled, giving you a richer viewing experience. Ubuntu and some Ubuntu based distros don't even come pre-installed with media codecs to play all types of videos. Installing VLC just solves this in a hassle-free way. VLC offers both simplicity as well as a superior control. It has advanced options like audio video synchronization, subtitle synchronization, aspect ratio control and many, many more features. Finally, even if you don't use all these features, VLC is a media player that can play all the media formats on earth. I guess that makes VLC media player a must have application. Number 6. Nitro Share. Recently, I built a new desktop and had to transfer terabytes of data from my old PC to the new one. My tool of choice for the operation was NitroShare. NitroShare is a lightweight, ridiculously simple to use software that is capable of transferring files and directories over Ethernet cable and wireless LAN. NitroShare is a multi-platform app that works on Linux, Windows, Mac and Android. And it allows cross-platform file sharing. This makes sharing files between my PC and my phone so easy. 
NitroShare is really easy to use. You start the NitroShare clients on both the sender and receiver device and make sure they both are connected to the same network. Then you select the files that you need to send and select the receiver. Done. For anyone that needs to send and receive files wirelessly, NitroShare is a must have because wires are so 2018. Next, we have Chromium browser. Google Chrome might be the world's most used browser but Linux users in general are more privacy conscious and understand that Chrome browser sends a lot of personal data over to Google servers. And the fact that Chrome isn't open source doesn't help either. So we have a look at Chromium browser today. Chromium browser can be looked at as the mother of Chrome browser. As far as the interface and usage is concerned, Chromium is pretty much the same thing as Chrome. Chromium 2 uses your Google account to sync your stuff up with your Android device. It is fast, fully compatible with all the Chrome extensions and provides a great web browsing experience that is similar to what you get on Chrome. Talking about the advantages, Chromium is fully open source. It doesn't send usage statistics to Google servers the way Chrome does. Data collection is very limited on Chromium browser, so you get the Google ecosystem advantages plus a better privacy. Chromium gets newer features and innovations much before they make it into Chrome browser. You can install Chromium browser from the software store on all the Linux distros. On number 4, we have GIMP. Whether you need to crop your pics for Insta upload or need to retouch the smudge on the wall behind you, GIMP can do it all. GIMP, which stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program, is a free software that is basically Photoshop for Linux. GIMP has a number of advanced as well as simple tools that provide a great environment for image editing and image manipulation. What you can do using GIMP is only limited by your own imagination. There are tons of tutorials and learning resources on the internet that will help you get good with GIMP. GIMP has an active development with feature-packed updates being released very regularly. These updates keep GIMP on the same level as its paid alternatives such as Photoshop. And did I mention GIMP is free? You can download and install GIMP from the software store. Mega offers 50 GB of free cloud storage per account and it has an official client for Linux. Mega is really straightforward to use with no advertisements. And since it provides 50 GB even for the free tier, it's a great backup solution for the important stuff. Mega conveniently creates a folder called Megasync on your PC. Anything you put there will be automatically synchronized with the cloud and any other PC that is connected to that account. This can simplify things a lot if you use multiple computers like at work and at home. I absolutely love this feature. Mega has high security and fast transfer speeds. It is a reliable service with end-to-end -end encryption implemented out of the box. Mega is a star choice for personal as well as business use. Number 2 on the list is Simple Note. Simple Note, well, is a very simple note-taking app with no additional glittery stuff. Simple Note takes and saves notes, and if you have multiple devices, then syncs your notes across all devices. Simple Note is a free and open source application, and there are no premium and paid subscriptions, and no ads too. Simple Note is available on Linux, Windows, Mac, Android, and iPhone. For me, Simple Note is an amazing app. As a creator, it allows me to jot down notes and ideas on my phone pretty much anywhere, anytime. As soon as I get home and start my PC, those notes are made available there for me to continue working on them. Simple Note is very organized with tags available to help you keep things sorted. There is also a quick search to speed things up. Simple Note has pretty good sharing features which makes it a great tool for communication between teams, project members and family. You can download Simple Note from the link given in the description below. And finally, the number one spot on this countdown is taken by Steam. Steam revolutionized gaming on Linux. Before Steam, gaming on Linux was not really recommendable. As of today, Steam has a huge catalogue of games for Linux. Counter-Strike, Rocket League, Team Fortress 2, Borderlands are all brought right to your Linux PC through Steam. Steam recently has released a feature called Proton, using which you can pretty much play any Windows-only games like Fallout Shelter, Doom, Battlefront 2 and more on Linux too. Whether you are a hardcore gamer playing seriously or want to play something casual on Linux, Steam has got you covered and the prices of games are also really good. You can get major games at really low prices on offer days. I highly recommend Steam as it opens up a whole new avenue of entertainment on Linux. If you would like to see videos on Linux gaming topics, do let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, do consider subscribing to my channel for more Linux videos. This is Linux Tech signing out.